you exist that is the truth you exist and that's all that you know you don't know anything else other than the fact that you exist if you want to know anything about your existence you have to let go of all the assumptions that you have about your existence you have to let go of all the assumptions that you have about existence if you were in a dream right now for you to actually realize that you are in a dream you'd have to let go of all the assumptions that you have about existence the reason why when you are in a dream you don't realize that you are in a dream is because you already made assumptions about existence in your dreams you exist right you already assume that you were born that is why you are in that dream you already assume that other people have their own minds that is why you are interacting with them you already assume that the physical world exists that is why you are in a physical world you see those are assumptions the truth is that you don't know if the physical world exists the truth is that you don't know if other people have their own minds the truth is that you don't know if you were born you woke up from a dream and you're like damn how did i not know that was a dream you didn't know it was a dream because of the assumptions that you made so if you truly want to understand the truth about existence let go of all the assumptions that you have about existence you actually realize that all that you know about existence is that you exist that's all that you know you exist you don't know if i exist independent of your mind And when I say you, I'm not even talking about what you call you. Like oh I'm I'm this physical being. I'm not even talking about that. I mean your mind, your awareness. The only thing that you can be sure exists is your own mind. You don't know if I have a mind. You don't know if I have a mind of my own. You don't know if I'm not just a projection of your mind. You don't know if when you die, I will continue to exist. Ask yourself this question. When you wake up from a dream, does the dream continue? Can a dream continue without you? Do you think that when you die life will continue without you or everything that you know will cease to exist because it was all in your mind you are existence itself nothing else can exist without you as soon as you switch off your computer I stop existing. I do not exist independent of your thoughts, independent of your mind, independent of your observation. As soon as you stop watching this video and watch another video, I stop existing. I do not have my own life. 
I do not have a background story. There's nothing that actually happens to me unless you are watching me. As soon as you close your eyes, I stop existing. Is that not the truth? Solipsism is the idea that only one's mind is sure to exist. Only one's mind is sure to exist. You can only be sure that your mind exists. The opposite of um, solipsism is sonda, which is the idea that each and every person that you know have their own lives, they have their own minds. If we want to really understand the truth, we need to take the road with less assumptions. If you take the solipsism road, will you have to make a lot of assumptions? If you take the Sonda road, will you have to make a lot of assumptions? If you decide to believe that you are the only conscious being in the universe, you are all there is, and that is the final truth. Will you have to make a lot of assumptions? If you decide to believe that, no, I'm not the only conscious being in the universe, birds have their own consciousness, other people have their own consciousness. Dogs have their own consciousness. Insects have their own consciousness. Sharks have their own consciousness. Aliens have their own consciousness. Won't you have to make a lot of assumptions? If you were in a dream, would you be right to think that birds have their own consciousness? Bees have their own consciousness. The people that you interact with have their own consciousness. Or you would actually be assuming that they have their own consciousness. If you decided that no, actually, other people do not have their own consciousness, bees do not have their own consciousness, ants do not have their own consciousness, wouldn't you be right? I, I, wouldn't you be right? To believe that you are the only conscious being in your dream and if you ever said to other dream characters that you are the only conscious being in a dream what do you think they will say do you think they will believe you do you think they'll say oh yeah you are the only conscious being how did you not figure that out for like why did it take you so long to figure that out i mean it's it's obvious it's been obvious the whole time <laughs> or you think they're gonna be like oh you're crazy you are crazy how can you think you're the only conscious being here the road with less assumptions is the road to solipsism the road to sonda actually have lots of exemptions like you have to make a lot of exemptions to actually believe that other people have their own consciousness um other animals have their own consciousness aliens have their own consciousness some people even believe that the earth is conscious some people even believe that rocks are conscious they might not have the kind of consciousness that we have but they are conscious some people even believe that ai is conscious 
So you have to make a lot of assumptions. When it comes to solipsism, you don't really have to make that many assumptions. I'm all there is. I mean, that's it. That's that's what I know. What if the only thing that you can know is the truth? You see? Remember, you don't have to assume that you exist. I mean, your mind, not, not your body. I'm not talking about your body. If you think your body exists, that's still an assumption. So I'm not talking about your body here. I'm talking about your mind. You know beyond any reasonable doubt that your mind exists. That's all that you know. What if that is the only truth and everything else is is an assumption? And it's through these assumptions that reality was created. You see, you've assumed that other people exist, so they exist. What if there's nothing outside of this reality? What if there can never be anything outside of this reality? What if it has always been you the whole time? You always have been the only conscious being. No one created you. You've always existed. You've never not existed. It's just that once you start to dream up a reality, your own mind localizes itself in that reality. Right? Your own mind localizes itself in that reality. It becomes one with that reality. So you forget that there are other realities. So when you dream, you forget that there is another world where you are sleeping. Probably sleeping with your crush for the first time. You forget that. You find yourself in a world full of aliens that you have to conquer. Mm, and you believe that these aliens exist. Imagine if you were to be stuck in the dream for a very long time. Imagine if time didn't even exist. But your perception of it, because it does exist, you do believe that time exists. So you are in a dream for about an hour, but because time itself doesn't exist it's just a perception of it that exists which is the only thing that is exists which is perception itself which is consciousness itself which is the mind itself you actually believe that you have been in that dream for many years <laughs> so you dream for an hour but actually believe that you actually you know dream from many years imagine having a dream or imagine being in a coma for some time and actually getting stuck in one dream and believing that that dream is real actually starting relationships that actually last and then waking up from a coma and look around you and you feel like the world itself is is is, is not the real world you see like it's not feel like it's less interesting so you want to go back to the dream because the dream itself was interesting and you you got used to it you got emotionally attached to the dream characters what if the truth about our existence is simple. What if it was never our existence? What if it was your existence? What if the only thing that can be known is the truth? And everything else that cannot be known is not true, is an assumption. That is why it can never be known. 
Who created God? No one created God. You, you just assume that there is a God. There is no God. You see, you've given your power away. So you believe there is a God. But there is not God. If there was God, it would be you. Because you are the only conscious thing in the universe. So if there was a God, you be God. You might say, oh, if I'm the only conscious thing in the universe, why don't I know that I'm the only conscious being in the universe? And my question would be, how would you know? If you were the only conscious being in the universe, how would you know? Who would tell you that you're the only conscious being in the universe? Remember, you will have given your power away. You see, if you were in a dream, how would you know that you're in a dream if you don't wake up from the dream? How would you know? If you don't wake up from the dream, how would you know that it's a dream? You think it's real, right? You think that the physical world that you're interacting with is actually real. You'd only realize after waking up that, oh, it was just a dream. And when you wake up, you'll be like, oh, yeah, that was just a dream. This is real. See? And then you wake up again and you're like, whoa. Have you not had dreams within dreams? You wake up from a dream and you're like, ah, oh, it was just a dream. What a weird dream. Okay, this is reality. Let me brush my teeth and go to work. And then on your way to work, you wake up again. You're like, oh, shit. This too was a dream. What the hell? You wake up again, brush your teeth, leave for work get to work something weird happened you wake up again you're like what the fuck has that never happened to you why did you assume that this is not a dream isn't it because you've been here for a very long time or you believe that you've been here for a very long time <laughs> last Thursday is the idea that well Earth might have been created last Thursday like, how would you know if it wasn't created last Thursday what if your perception of time is wrong what if time itself is just an illusion what if it doesn't exist but it's only your perception of it that actually does exist and that will actually mean that it, your perception of it doesn't exist it's just a perception it's just you hallucinating basically it's just you dreaming that time exists but it doesn't it never did it never will doesn't it make more sense to believe that you are all there is than to believe that other beings exist how does consciousness split itself into different perspectives? How can consciousness even be created? You believe that this is all the result of the Big Bang, right? But how did that result in consciousness? You understand that that will be very hard To create like it would be very hard to create consciousness so it isn't something that can just accidentally be created right create consciousness what if it can never be created what if it can never exist physically what if it cannot come from anything physical what if consciousness is nothingness it's just the awareness of existence and there's nothing that is that consciousness really comes from there's nothing that is sourcing consciousness itself consciousness is all there is and what consciousness does is dream and that is the reason why you dream like consciousness cannot just be it wants to have an experience you've got to have an experience you've got to dream you've got to be aware of your existence and that's life 
What if that's the truth? What if that's the truth, but you don't want to admit that that's the truth? What if you don't want that to be true? And that's the reason why you dream. It's because you don't want that to be the truth. You don't want to be the only one here. So you must believe that other people exist and they have their own minds and their own thoughts, their own problems, their own background stories. You must believe that Jesus existed, existed, Thomas existed, Hitler existed, Nelson Mandela existed, Martin Luther King existed. Yeah, you must believe all these people existed. But what if they didn't? What if you are dreaming that they did and you believe that they did because you don't know that you're dreaming? What if one day you are going to wake up and realize that it was all a dream? And when you wake up and realize that it was all a dream, because you don't want to believe that you're the only conscious being in the universe, you believe that you woke up in the real world. Oh, it was all a dream, but now I'm in the real world. So whatever experience I was having was just a dream, but I'm not dreaming right now. I'm in the real world. Right now, I'm experiencing reality. This is reality. I remember sleeping. And yeah, this this makes sense. This makes sense. Now. I even know why I was created. Who created me. Um, I also know why reality exists. Why there is something instead of nothing. What if the truth is that you are the only conscious thing in existence? And there can never be another thing that exists except you. What's most likely? That the Big Bang happened and... Because the Big Bang happened, you happen to be here. And you're conscious. Other animals are conscious. And yeah, this is this is what's happening, right? Yeah. Now working a shitty job. Uh you're a slave. You're dumb as fuck. <laughs> uh, sometimes I love Eddie humans, like we're dumb, right? Is that what most likely to be the truth? Or the truth is that Actually, you're dreaming. That is why this world seems stupid. That's why everything seems stupid. That's why everything seems absurd. That's why you dumb. You're dreaming. You see, when you're in a dream, you're stupid. You find yourself doing things that you wouldn't do in the real world. You find yourself believing things that you wouldn't believe in the real world. I mean, not the real world, but what you think is the real world. What if the biggest secret of the universe is that you are actually the only one in it? That will mean that DNA doesn't exist. That will mean that evolution is false. That will mean that religion is false. There isn't a religion that is based on anything true. That will mean that everything that you've ever been told wasn't true. You were imagining everything. You were dreaming up everything. The truth is that you've always been the only one who's here. That will mean that your friends don't exist, your Christ does not exist. 
Your parents do not exist. Your problems do not exist. Benedictines, the vegan does not exist. <laughs> the fact that I call myself Benedictines, the vegan, should actually make you a bit suspicious. I remember when Logan Powerful Mayweather, he's like, just the fact that this is happening right now proves that this, this is in real. This world is not real. Nothing is real. Everything is an illusion. Just the fact that I'm fighting for Mayweather, like that's, that's it to him be happening. Are you the only one here or you're not? This ends. You see this ends. They have their own consciousnesses. <laughs> I'm not sure if you can see them. It's kind of like dark. Trees have their own consciousness. No, those birds. Not sure if you can see them. Have their own consciousness. Solipsism is a very scary philosophy. Like that's it's scary to believe that you might actually be the only one here. You just don't know that yet, or maybe you never know that. Maybe you don't want to know that. If you are the only conscious being here, would you want to know that you are the only conscious being here? Would you want to know for sure that you are the only conscious being here? Would you be comfortable knowing that? If it was possible for you to know now, beyond any doubt, that you are the only conscious being in the universe, would you want to know that? Or you'll be like, mm, nope. Maybe you're thinking that you'd want to know that, but isn't it possible that you just think that you want to know that because of what you go through here? But remember, you're eternal. Like, if you're the only conscious being in the universe, you're eternal. So if you're going to know that you're the only conscious being in the universe, you will have ruined this illusion for you. You will have ruined the dream for you. It's like if you're watching a movie and you knew everything that was going to happen. Like, it's not fun, right? That is why people hate movie spoilers. Like, they want to watch the movie. The actual movie without knowing what's going to happen. They don't want someone to spoil the movie for them. So knowing that you're the only conscious being in the universe, if you were, will be like spoiling the... What you've worked so hard... To believe, right? Because you would have worked very hard to actually believe that you're not... The only conscious thing here even though all the evidence points to you being the only conscious being here
Sonda suggests that nah man you're not the only conscious being yeah there are other consciousnesses of course when you look around you you see that other people exist they have their own minds i mean look at the technology that we have you can't create that languages i mean you learn different languages did you create those languages are those your languages a lot of things that you've learned from other people look all the people that you love people that you admire you created them or they have their own minds look at your enemies why would you create someone to be your enemy nah man other people really do exist look at all the things that you didn't know that you got to learn from other people that actually proves that Sonda is true everyone else have their own lives you're not the only one who has a life and also believing that you're the only conscious being in the universe is actually bad because you do a lot of horrible things believing that well no one really suffers except you so no matter what you do is okay Since you're the only conscious being here, there's nothing that you can do that is actually wrong. You cannot do no wrong since you're God. I mean, if you were in a dream, will there be anything that you can do that is actually wrong in the dream? What is it that you can do that is actually wrong in the dream? Remember, you're the only conscious being in your dream. Everyone else doesn't exist. So it means that you can do whatever you want to do. You can steal from other dream characters. You can fight with other dream characters you can shoot them you can do anything that you want to do to them because well they don't exist they cannot suffer they're just projections of your mind so believing that you're the only conscious being in the universe is actually dangerous because you might do things that are wrong because you believe other people do not exist. But also, what we must realize is that if you believe that other people do not exist and everything else is a projection of your mind, then you might actually free yourself from hatred, right? Hating other people. You see, if there are people who have hate you in your life, you don't really care. Because, well, they don't exist. They're just projection of your mind. So you've been dreaming the whole time and believing that the dream was real. But it was all a dream. All of it was a dream. What makes more sense to believe? You know, I can't tell you that you're the only conscious being in the universe. I can't tell you that you're not. What I can do is make the case for solipsism and the case for Sonda. I mean, the world seems physical. I mean, these are stones. The physical. This reality seems persistent, right? It doesn't seem to change. You seem to have been growing your whole life. That nothing magical seems to be happening. Nothing is impossible. Seems nothing that's impossible seems to be happening. That is that so. Why do we have technology? Does technology seem possible to you? Does the internet seem possible to you? Just does the fact that you're watching me on your screen seem possible to you? You're watching someone from Africa on your screen. You're probably in uh, in another con in, in another continent. Probably not even in Africa. But you're watching someone from Africa right now. Is that even supposed to be possible? What if this only makes sense just because you're here? You are in this reality, so it must make sense. That is why when you are in a dream, no matter what happens, you feel like it makes sense because, well, you are in a dream, and you're in a dream where those rules, the, or the, the you know, the, the, that plays by those rules that. you'll be following by the laws that you'll be following 
right? The laws of physics in your dream are going to make sense to you because in that dreams those are the laws because dreams are different there are some dreams where things that are impossible do happen you know you can dream that you can fly you can dream that you can read minds you can dream that you can shape shift you can dream that you're a chicken and actually believe that like i'm a chicken In some dreams, you cannot be a chicken. In some dreams, you cannot shape shift. In some dreams, you cannot fly. You can try to fly and you find that you can't fly. In some dreams, you can't even run. You try to run, but you can't even run. You, you try, but you can't. What if this too is just a dream? You just don't know yet that it's a dream because you cannot know that it is a dream until you wake up. That is why when you're dreaming, you don't know that you're dreaming. You're like, nah, I have lucid dreams sometimes. Mm. You still don't really know that you're dreaming. You know, having a lucid dream is like thinking that this reality is a dream. <laughs> that doesn't mean that you know it's a dream. It means that you think that it might be a dream so there's a difference that's a lucid dream you think you're in a dream if you really knew that if, if when you're in a dream you really knew that you're in a dream you'd wake up because that's what happens when you know you're dreaming you wake up you see yes we've had dreams where we knew that we're dreaming but we, we woke up you see like, and as soon as you, as soon as you realize that oh it's all it's all just a dream you just wake up. <laughs> it's like the dream kicks you out. You're like oh this one is is awake now. Let, let's kick him out. He might do some fucked up shit now. You know once because he knows that it's a dream. So imagine what he would do. He might break a lot of rules. Maybe it's just a simulation of some sort. And in that, in this simulation, you don't gotta break the rules. Maybe everyone is conscious. Maybe even the dream characters are conscious. You know, dreams are just other simulations. Like there are many different simulations that you can go into. Like there are billions of simulations. It even gets to a point where simulations are creating other simulations, if that makes sense. So the simulations are endless. And you're stuck in the simulations and everyone else is stuck in the simulation. And you're all confused, not knowing what the heck is going on. I'm not trying to confuse you. I'm trying to make a case for solipsism and a case for Sonda. What is important is that we know what reality is. We know what the heck is going on. And to know what is going on, we have to be skeptical. You have to question everything that you think you know. And be your own source of truth. Because I don't think anyone else can really tell you what the truth is. It's you who have to tell yourself what the truth is. You have to confirm to yourself what the truth is. Benedict Hines can't tell you what the truth is. Scientists can't really tell you what the truth is. God can't tell you what the truth is. Aliens cannot tell you what the truth is. The government cannot tell you what the truth is. Your president cannot tell you what the truth is. It's you who have to actually decide what the truth is. It's always been you the whole time. So you have to trust yourself. Not other people. Not the government. Not Benedictines. Not God. Not your parents. Not aliens. Because, you know, soon, soon, we will know that aliens exist. And they're going to tell us. <laughs> 
something about our existence. So it's up to y'all. You're going to believe that these aliens are telling y'all the truth. Or are you going to tell yourself the truth? Thank y'all.